for watching Morning Mix. All right, so a question. When was the last time you checked your smoke detector? Do you have a smoke detector? Uh, many don't. Coming up this Saturday is the Sound the Alarm event with the Red Cross Augusta Chapter, a home fire campaign designed to help save lives. Susan Landreth Everett is executive director of the American Red Cross of East Central Georgia, and she joins us here on The Mix to talk about what's going on. Hey, guys. Good to see nice you. To Thanks for coming back. Great to be here. Thanks. Always great to have you here. It's a, this is a very nice event uh, uh, and a free event as well that the Red Cross is going to be partnering with the Augusta Fire Department. Before we get to what's going on, tell us some numbers about the risks of not having appropriately uh, set up. Sure. Yeah, it, it is astronomical, the amount of damage that fires do. And before coming to the Red Cross, this is not something that, that I knew. But um, if you have a working smoke alarm, you have double the chance of surviving a fire, which is it's incredible. And how quickly a fire spreads is something that people don't think about. You have two minutes to get out of your house, two minutes. So that's it, you know, but if you have that smoke alarm, that gives you the early detection that something's wrong right. and you can either fix the problem or you can get out. So, so timing is critical with this. Okay, and we want to fix the problem. Now, speaking of the event happening this Saturday downtown, mm -hmm. what's taking place, the Sound the Alarm event? So October is Fire Safety Month, so it's you know appropriate that we are making people safe from fires. So we have incredible partners with the fire department. We do this all year round, but this is to really raise awareness. And we're targeting the Harrisburg neighborhood this time. Every year we pick a neighborhood um, to really do a mass canvassing. So we have volunteers um, from the Red Cross. We have volunteers from the community. John Deere is a volunteer partner. They're bringing out a lot of employees mm -hmm. um, and we're going to have teams go knock on doors, check people's homes, see if they have a working smoke alarm. Right. Um, and if they don't, then we'll install a free smoke alarm. We'll get an emergency plan going for them and just talk to them about how to make their homes safer. And this is not the first Sound the Alarm event that the group's hosted. What, what have you discovered from the last few events about the lack of preparation? You know, it really is one of the things that's so astounding, um, and, and it's understandable because life gets busy, but the amount of smoke alarms that we see that don't have a battery in it or that are sort of like hanging from the right. ceiling where somebody has knocked it to try and get the chirping to stop, but then never replaced it, you know, it's... To us, it's like, oh my gosh, you know, this is this is not good. Um, so, just check. Right. And if you don't have one, mm -hmm. let us know, and we'll come put one in for you. No, I understand that chirping can. That get chirping is bad. It gives <laughs> major anxiety to my it does. dog. My dog gets anxiety. So what I did one time, I just went and replaced all the batteries when one started doing it. Right. I was like, the way my dog was acting, I was like, we can't have this anymore. Yeah, and the great thing about the smoke alarms that we use, that the battery lasts for ten years oh. now. So it's a really great battery. Um, and then we also have smoke alarms that if people are hard of hearing, that are actually they're called bed shakers, and they will actually shake the bed and have lights go off. Um, so if you you know, need that, that's something that we can help too. Well, that's good to know. Uh, yeah. Susan, we know that this isn't the only thing the Red mm -hmm. Cross does. Let's just talk about the importance of having volunteers. Oh, volunteers are so important. It's really critical to what we do. You know, with the 23 counties that we cover here with the East Central Chapter, there's only three paid staff. So um, all of that, we need a that lot. Is, I did not know that. Yeah, <laughs> that's, why we're, that's why you see me all the time. We're always busy. Um, but we do need volunteers, and there's something for everybody to do. We have work-from-home opportunities. You know, you can work in disaster. You can work in special events. You can work in our blood drives you can work just anywhere we'll find you a spot so all of that is at redcross.org people can sign up for a fire alarm they can sign up to volunteer they can sign up to give blood you know any of right. that they can do I, I, seriously i was said this before hardest one working uh -oh. woman right here in this area because you are always there. boots on the ground whenever right. the, yeah. if there's a natural disaster or something you're always out there yeah. on the front lines helping it whenever you can so we really thank you for that well thank you uh, so let's go ahead and recap this event uh, information again for this Saturday the sound the alarm event when and where so we're going to meet at Bethel AME Church on Saturday um, between 9.30 and 10. And then everybody gets uh, Chick-fil-A's donating biscuits for us, which is really nice for our volunteers. And then we'll go out and canvas all day long. So it'll be a great event. Right. And we're so thankful to the fire department for the Augusta Fire Department for all their partnership. They're an incredible community partner for us. Absolutely. Thanks to them and also thanks to the volunteers with John Deere for helping mm -hmm. out with this particular weekend. Yep. Susan, thanks for joining us. Thanks y'all for having me. Love it. Much.